You see what they did and just use them, mark them. And then on down further, therefore he brought upon them a God of the Chaldeans came to come upon them. And then they have no mercy. They didn't show them no kindness, no mercy at all. Mm, mm, mm. They brought upon them the kings of the Chaldean who slew the young men with the sword in the house of their sanctuary and had no compassion upon the young man or maiden, that's young women, old men, all them that stoop for age, <clears throat> even the men that, see sometimes people get old and they bow, they walk, they didn't have no mercy for them. Mm. That's what the Bible said. These people were evil, mean, but see, they brought it up on themselves. When we disobey God's word, we can look for things to happen to us. My mom used to tell me, boy, if you don't listen to me, something's gonna happen to you. And I was afraid, sister, huh? Because I seen well, she's pointing out some things. You see that child there? Sometimes the child, we, we done, somebody we done, uh, broke the leg or something. She pointed out that something like that happened to you. I was afraid. I'd be so afraid of being walking careful. Remembering what my mom said. I better not act like that. I better not go and steal nothing. Yes. I was afraid that police come by. I was afraid. We were, my day and time, when we see a police, we were that attention. Mm -hmm. We didn't act up in the crowd. We, we stood at attention. We reverenced that police. And we, not because of, of what he might do, but we went with this authority. Yes. And nowadays, they shoot the police down in a minute. Why? Because we not recognize in the word of God. Okay. His spirit was saying, as the word then in Jeremiah day, they brought upon themselves seventy years of 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 of, 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 of what, they went through things for seventy years. But they wouldn't hear the prophet of God. Mm. And they wouldn't listen to just did what I want to do when I want to do it. And, and the 18th verse, and the vessels of the house of God, great and small, and the treasures of the house of the Lord, and the treasures of the kings, and the princes of all he brought into Babylon. I'm looking at the <coughs> introduction here. I wrote it down, I got some, uh, wrote down, they wouldn't, they were not true and sincere to God. Mm. They sometimes people go to church, they say, amen, they say this and they say, I'm, I'm living for God, but go out there and do just what the devil said. When we say we are true to God, we obey his word. Yes. That's why we stand, what we talk about, we stand in, in, in what we speak of, we demonstrate it. Yes. And that when we true to God. So these people were true to God. They were they weren't sincere to the word of God. They were talking but not doing. Mm -hmm. You hear that song? They talking but they're not doing. Mm -hmm. Saying one thing and doing another. And see when that that went on so so long that God said, uh, I'm fed up with these people. I'm going to show them that I'm going to punish God. They, they brought this up on themselves. It was not because God was evil. It was not because God was cruel. When you disobey and disobey and disobey, punishment is to come. Yes. It's only way when to, even in our time, when we continue to disobey, continue to disobey, <coughs> and I'm a firm believer. I say I'm a firm believer mm. myself. This coronavirus virus just didn't hit us by accident. Mm, mm, mm. It just didn't come up in here by accident. We walked contrary to the word of God until God had to show us that his word fulfilled. If you read that back in the back of the, in the, in the Old Testament, how it, people even ask, would God do this? And the Bible says, yeah, because they didn't obey him. Mm. All right, moving on. 
one time lesson today, go with me to the page of 173 on our top, on our top. From 173 and 174, the Bible said the message. Zedekiah was 21 years old when he began to be, he, he, he began 11 year reign in Jerusalem. He did that which was evil in the sight of the Lord. He mm. refused to humble himself before the prophet of Jeremiah, who was God's spokesman. King Zedekiah rebelled against Nebuchadnezzar and Babylonia, the king who had sworn an alias to all the generals because involved in, in pagan abomination and polluting the house of, house of God in Jerusalem. God cup of wrath <coughs> filling up to and ready to boil over. God cup Ready. Otherwise, this time out, now it's the end time now. Then God will take no more. He just had to let it go. So he allowed this thing to happen. Yes, he did. He allowed it. Otherwise, he just stepped back and said, Go ahead, come on, get back. Do what you want to do. Mm -hmm. And then things begin to happen to the people. Okay. And on top of that, in Babylon, I mean, the Babylonians had them, oh, I'm trying to get to the 137 song. First verse says, say some signs, some. Otherwise, they down here in prison and, and going through hardship and everything, and it seemed like they're marking them. Sang me on first song. Mm hmm, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> now, you look back think. there. These people don't mark God's message. Uh -huh. See how they mark God's message? Mm -hmm. When Jeremiah the prophet was going in and out, and they marked them, abused them. Now the Babylonians are about to mark them. Uh -huh. Sang us some signs so. mm -hmm. <laughs> I, I can imagine how they felt. Yeah, yeah. Sing, and it's over there. How can we sing some signs and something? <laughs> Where are we in a strange land? We in prison. We can't hear us. Far from my mind, I ain't got no time to be thinking about nothing. Saying that when we were in, when we had the chance to do all this, saying God's praise and then do glory by God, mm. we walked away from God. Yeah, done what the enemy want. Now the enemy telling them to sing some of them songs. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> see, right. see they're talking now. Uh huh. Sing some of them songs you used to sing. Mm -hmm. See how, see what they're going to do for you while you're down there. See, they didn't have no mercy on those people. My God. Have no mercy. Just imagine this killing the people, whipping the young women and the young men and the old men that, that, that sat in the words there. Was they old, so old that they were stupid. Look, bow down and walking like this. And they didn't have no mercy for them. No. And when we see old people like that, my parents respect they raised up. You can have some people. Yes. Is that right? Mm-hmm. <coughs> my mother used to go, help that lady, help that man. And we went to their rescue, but they didn't, that's that. Now we went to people rescue, but the Babylonians had no mercy for them people. Mm. Beat them, threw them, cruelty. But see, we can bring all these things upon ourselves for disobedience. And if you ain't doing it, your family member doing it, you bring it to your home. That's right. It comes to your home. It comes to the church. It comes to the group of people. You might be doing all you know how to live right. But somebody in here, I mean somebody in that group, just like a bad apple, run the whole bunch. Judgment comes upon everybody because that person is doing it. Mm -hmm. So that's why we need to continue to pray hardly for all the people that are not saved. And be prayed not for yourself, and you just continue to 
pray hard, not not just don't be merciful. No, pray for the people. Go on. Let your heart go over for those people that's that not saved. Look with me again. The people of Judea, Judah, may not have deserved it, but God sent them messengers from time to time to warn them, to give them up the evil ways, to give up the evil ways and turn back to him. He did not just, he did this because he had compassion on his chosen people. Mm. God has compassion on his chosen people. So he took the prophet in one after the other, one after the other. Continue because he loved the people. But we often say his grace runs out. Mm. We can't continue to do wrong and know to do right. Sometimes when you see a lot of times we don't know these things. When the thing comes, that's why James I believe said, to him that know to do good and do it not. Mm -hmm. To him it's a sin. Mm -hmm. Sometimes you don't know these things are sin. But when you get come into the knowledge of it, mm -hmm. then you quit doing it. I quit going around bad people when I know they were doing bad. Mm. When I was young in the world. My parents, my mom, especially my mom, used to tell me, don't hang around with them boys because they bad boys. I didn't see it. I couldn't see it, old father. No, she, she just don't want me to hang around them boys. I thought they were good boys. <laughs> you know? But when I seen some of the things they did, uh -huh. I backed away from them. Because I don't want to be hanging around a group like that. I know better than to do that. Mm -hmm. So when we're in the world, we know to do better. Do better. Don't just go around and go, oh, they doing it, everybody doing it, it's all right. No, it ain't all right when it's wrong, it's just wrong. And you ain't supposed to be, special God, child of God, ain't supposed to be doing wrong because the other folk are doing wrong. That's right. They doing it down in the church, down the street. I don't care if they doing it down the next door to church. I ain't gonna do it, because I know better. That's right. This is a beautiful lesson this morning, and everybody should have a thought from this lesson. So we bound right now for any thought to come in at this moment. Judgment and exile. Banish or expel. I'm going to get back away from you. I'm going to get away from you. Oh boy, I'm going to expel you. Anybody? Praise God. I say good morning. Good morning, good morning Sister Martin. To the house of faith. Amen. Uh, we have a good lesson today. We do. Judgment and exile. Yes. It's down in 7, around 36, chapter 15, through mm -hmm. 29. And yet, we go to the book of Psalm 137. Yes. One through 6. In other in our lesson today, <coughs> it let us know how important mm -hmm. it is to be obedient yes. to our Lord and Savior, mm -hmm. uh, to God. It's very important <coughs> that we obey. Not just on, uh, I say, Sunday mm -hmm. and whatever day they have Bible study on Wednesday, Thursday. Mm -hmm. But we should be obedient to God each and every day. Yes, yes. In our life, you know, in our life, mm -hmm. every day we should be. Yes. And then being like uh, we learned about being obedient to God. Mm -hmm. You know, our blessing. Yes. Um, we have many blessings come from being obedient. Yes, we do. Uh, of being obedient to mm -hmm. God. Yes. And then when we're just obedient, we should be able to endure <coughs> the consequence. Mm -hmm. You know, when this word here teach us how to live. And it teaches us. Yes. 
So we really don't have any excuse. Like the lost people. Mm -hmm. He warned them and warned them mm -hmm. and warned them. Yes, he did. And warned them mm -hmm. to prophets and things. Mm -hmm. But I say, they in their self. They want to do it, you know, the way that pleases them. Yes. But you know, uh, just like uh, most people today, they want to receive God's blessing. Mm -hmm. You know, they uh, accept God's blessing, but they don't want to be obedient mm -hmm. and live, you know, according to His word. Right. But they willing to accept the blessing. Yes. And then sometimes they, you hear people, I'm waiting on the bless God blessing. Mm -hmm. He said this and he said that. But God also said, be obedient, you know, to his word. Yes. That's what I'm saying. And the Israelite, which is his people, they continue to know the warning. They mm -hmm. really did. Yes. I mean, time after time, they would do things that yes. was pleasing to God. Yes. But God, he, you know, he would always come to that rescue. But <laughs> this time, I say, it grieved God's spirit. You know, like uh, when I have a children or something, do something. Mm -hmm. We said, uh, my mom, you said, I'm going to take off my apron string now. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Yes. <laughs> no. And that's what God, you know, said no. And, no. Mm -hmm. and so he let uh, uh, Babylon, the king of Babylon, let them allow them, yeah. you know, to take over. Mm -hmm. They really did. Man, you know, you know sometimes it does take us to go through. A situation, mm -hmm. you know, to learn from it. Yes. yes. And, and so, yes. Uh, and when the Israelites were, mm -hmm. uh, you know, they learn from, uh, you say, a hard way. Yes. Mm -hmm. Yes, but they went to exile. Mm -hmm. And then they had this, uh, he allowed this king. Well, Nezuka, Nezuka, it's hard for me to pronounce mm -hmm. that. But in a way, a lot of people. What did he do? He did a lot of the peepers. Mm -hmm. He did a lot of the people, the one that, the, yeah. you know, his army, I say. Yes. Mm -hmm. And the one that, you know, they didn't care, <laughs> what to do to take it to, and uh, put an exit. And the, if those people went through, can you imagine, 70 years, mm. 70 years, they, and then going through the hardship, then they came to the knowledge of knowing how best they really, you know, really was. Yes, yes. And, and sometimes, you know, we go through hardship yes. and things, and then we come to the knowledge. Mm -hmm. how best we was in the past, yes, you know, right. how God had a lesson, yeah. but we didn't fully, well, you know, knowledge of that right. until we went through hardship mm -hmm. and yes. difficult. Mm -hmm. So that's how the Israelites, when they went through, they came to their decision. Mm -hmm. So this lesson, uh, this lesson help us. Yes. Help us. Yeah. Yes. yes. God allow yeah. things to come upon us. Yes. To be disobedient. Mm -hmm. He, he allowed that to happen mm -hmm. to, to us. And so that's how we really learn like they did. Yes. They, they learn from their hardship mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and trials that they went through. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Lord. You know, I'd like to say in, in our lesson, uh, the end of the life, they took it for granted. 
disobedient can bring uh, judgment. Yes. Uh, and uh, the subject is judgment and exile. And the Hebrews uh, for exile uh, is a, mean uh, a place of suffering. And, and uh, it's a form of uh, punishment. Mm -hmm. uh, praise God for being rebellious. Yes. And God used his uh, God used his uh, enemy to to uh, chastise his people. Yes. Uh, praise God. And uh, Israel no no better than to mess around with idol gods and all of that. They knew that. Yes. Uh, praise God. When God blesses us, we are to always to be grateful yes. to whatever uh, He does for us. Amen. And all the things that God had blessed Israel mm -hmm. and did for them, uh, I can't see how they could, could ever forget that. Mm -hmm. But they did. Yes. And, and uh, uh, praise God. And every time they forgot what uh, the blessings of God, then they mm -hmm. went into uh, uh, captivity mm -hmm. and all because of uh, that's uh, rebelling against uh, God's word. Yes. And we are not to rebel against His word. We yes. are to take heed yes. uh, to His word. Mm -hmm. yes. And uh, it always a warning before destruction. Amen. And, and God had uh, uh, sent his uh, prophets uh, to warn them yes. of their sin. Yes. And, and uh, oh, but they didn't stop doing it. They just uh, um, marked them yeah. and, and, uh, and all. Mm -hmm. And they, uh, God sent uh, prophet after prophet after prophet. Mm -hmm. uh, praise God. And they stunned them and did all of that. And God got tired of that. Amen. How they were doing the prophets. Yes. God was, he was uh, very angry, you know, about that. Yes. And it was a, a place in here. It was Sam. Uh, <coughs> I think it's not. said, uh, we read in Scripture, that the Lord very often uses his enemies to punish and discipline his people. This tells us two things. First, God will punish his people. Second, God is in control of even his enemies. He is absolutely sovereign. And and uh, he is. Mm -hmm. And and uh, uh, a lot of times people look at God, well, why would he allow that to happen? Mm -hmm. uh, praise God. Sin is the cause of it all. Mm -hmm. Yes. Sin is. Yes. And 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 uh, uh, God uh, can't stand sin. Amen. And and uh, that's why He don't want His people to <coughs> remain in sin. Mm -hmm. He brought us out. Yeah. Praise God. He brought us out, mm -hmm. and He don't want us to go back into it. Amen. Uh, praise God. And so, so uh, God sent send prophet after prophet and said, but they marked the messengers of God yes, and despised his word mm -hmm. and misused his prophets until the wrath of the Lord arose against his people mm -hmm. till there were no remedy. Mm -hmm. So therefore he brought upon them the king of the Chaldees who slew their young men mm. with the sword in the house of his sanctuary mm. and had no compassion upon young men or maiden or old or him that stood for age. He gave them all into mm. his hand. Amen. And, and, uh, and uh, uh, this was a, a punishment um, mm -hmm. of their rebellion and, and disobedience yes. uh, to the Word of God. Mm -hmm. and, and it's for us today, when we hear the teaching and preaching and all, yeah. we are to take heed. Thank you, yes. uh, to take heed to 
to uh, put the word in sand for mm -hmm. us. Amen. Uh, praise God for us to to uh, we want to keep us right. Amen. Yes. Yes. Uh, praise God. And the and the word is is uh, what clean you up. Yes, it is. Uh, keep you clean is the word. Yes. Uh, praise God if you take heed to the word. Mm -hmm. Now the word can't clean you if you don't take heed to it. Mm -hmm. You have I to do. take heed to what the word is saying. Mm -hmm. uh, praise God. No wonder uh, David said, uh, create in me a clean heart yeah. and renew a right spirit within me. Yes. Uh, uh, praise God. We all uh, should want our hearts to be clean. Yes. Uh, praise God. And, and if our hearts is, is a, a clean, we will obey God. Mm -hmm. We will <coughs> obey, uh, praise God. And and uh, the children of, of uh, Israel, <coughs> bring them out of one thing and they go back into another. Yes. Mm. Uh, praise God. And, and what happened back then is, is uh, yeah. happening now. Yes. Uh, there's no new uh, thing under the sun. Mm. Praise God. What was then happening is happening now. Mm -hmm. uh, praise God. And uh, this was a, a prophecy of uh, Jeremiah mm -hmm. uh, because he, he uh, prophesied to Hezekiah. Uh, Hezekiah uh, was uh, so proud of everything that was going on. Mm -hmm. And he showed the enemy everything in the house of God, everything. Mm -hmm. And and uh, Jeremiah asked him, did he show him? He said that he did. Mm -hmm. And uh, uh, this uh, brought the, a judgment. Uh, praise God, glory to God. Mm -hmm. And, and uh, that was uh, prophesied. And and uh, this is uh, what it's all about here, mm -hmm. and and they were going to be uh, taken in exile and 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 all of that, mm -hmm. and all of the things of God in the sanctuary was going to be taken out, where <coughs> was going to be burned down, and mm -hmm. and everything, and so uh, this is this is the prophecy of Jeremiah that came true. Mm -hmm. Yes. Uh, <coughs> And so, so uh, uh, anytime you hear God's word yeah. and and uh, don't take heed to it, yeah. there's a punishment. It is. Uh, praise God. And it's, it's for us to always to take heed to the word. Yes. Uh, praise God. And and uh, if we take heed to the word, then judgment won't come upon us. My God. But if we don't take heed to the word, judgment will. Mm -hmm. There's a day of, uh, of judgment, mm -hmm. and a lot of time uh, people going through hardship and all a lot of things that is happening, mm -hmm. and they wondering uh, what, why are they going through all of this. Yes. Uh, praise God. Then, like I, I have before stated, check yourself, mm -hmm. and you can see. Uh, yes. uh, uh, the cause of a lot of things mm -hmm. that uh, would come mm -hmm. up on you. Mm -hmm. uh, praise God for being uh, rebellion uh, to what the Lord is saying. Yes. And and uh, uh, God uses uh, the enemy uh, Zedekiah, that uh, king, and and all, and he was uh, and his people was real wicked. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And did a lot of uh, uh, mm -hmm. paper things. They didn't care about nobody. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, nothing. They were just uh, mm -hmm. des destroying everything. Mm -hmm. uh, praise God. And and uh, Jeremiah describes Judah utter defeat, a judgment he had us uh, uh, spend his life warning Judah about King Zedekiah mm -hmm. and his army were captive when they tried to escape from siege uh, Jerusalem. And Nebuchadnezzar uh, slaughtered uh, Zedekiah's sons right in the front of him. Mm -hmm. Right in the front of him. And then after they uh, slaughtered uh, Zedekiah's sons, then they put uh, Zedekiah's eyes out. And then they uh, put him in prison and, and all of his uh, royal 
officials and things, they round them up and executed every one of them. Mm -hmm. uh, praise God. And, and uh, Zedekiah was in prison until he died. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, praise God. And uh, God used uh, his enemy and then uh, God chastised them too. <coughs> yeah. uh, praise God. See, we, we don't understand how God uh, uh, does things. His ways are not our ways. Mm -hmm. uh, praise God. And we can't understand. We uh, think a lot of times it may be cruel, but it's not. Yes. Uh, praise God. God knows uh, 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 what to do and how to uh, do things. Yes. Uh, praise God. He said his ways are uh, higher than than uh, from heaven to earth. Uh, and uh, uh, over our way. Yes. And, and uh, uh, we won't understand uh what he does, but we just do be obedient to uh, what he does. That's what he right. Us to do. That's right. And uh, if we obedient, uh, praise God, uh, we will not be punished. Uh, we be blessed, praise mm -hmm. God. And so, so uh, Israel was uh, in exile uh, because of uh, disobedience. Mm -hmm. And, and uh, uh, it's a bad thing to uh, disobey God. My God. Mm -hmm. It's a bad thing to uh, fall into the hand of an uh, angry God. Mm. Uh, praise God. And, and uh, I always uh, say to myself, oh, I don't ever want to make God angry with me. Mm. I don't want him ever being angry with me. Praise God. Glory to God. Mm. So, so saints, be encouraged. Uh, be encouraged to hold on to God's unchanging yes. hands because uh, so much is going on in the world today it is. Okay. and, and uh, we are to keep our minds on the Lord mm -hmm. because he's in control Thank you. no matter what is going on out there God is yet in control mm -hmm. and our minds are to be on him yes. not <laughs> on what we see uh, here happening our minds mm -hmm. are to be on Him. Yes. That His will be done. Oh, yes. Because His will is going to be done whether we want it done or not. His will is going to be done. Yes. And so it's up to us to to keep our eyes on Him. Yes. And and uh, be obedient to, to His word. Yes. And say, yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Your will be done. Yes. Your will be done. I want to do your will. Help me. Mm -hmm. Help me if I'm weak. Help me to do your will. <coughs> and he will give us grace to do what yes. he have us mm -hmm. to do. Thank you. Amen. Do we have another witness this morning? Church me in this Amen. Hey. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Amen. Amen. It's like uh, if you tell your child or you tell your children say walk both ways, I mean look both ways before you cross the street. Mm -hmm. If they don't do it, they can get hit. Mm -hmm. You know, so God, what he, what he, his words protect us, uh, protect yes. us. Yes. You know, it, 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 you know, it helps, it helps us stay out of danger. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. You know, if we just heed to his word. Mm -hmm. And a lot of times people, you know, be thinking judgment, you know, is just from, you know, <coughs> all of God's judgment is in the Old Testament. Right here in Romans 1 and 17, well, 16 it start. It said, For I am not ashamed of the gospel of Christ, mm -hmm. but it is the power of God unto salvation to everyone that believeth, to the Jews first and also to the Greek. But therein is the righteousness of God revealed from faith to faith, as it is written, the just shall live by faith. For the wrath of God is revealed yes. from heaven against all ungodliness and unrighteousness of men. Mm -hmm. Sometimes his, his wrath is just revealed. Yes. You know, because of what we do. Mm -hmm. You know, you know, we we pull ourselves out from under the cover. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> and then we walk into judgment. Yes. Amen. We walk right. into that. You know, mm -hmm. it's just not that 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 God is just out there trying to punish us. Amen. But we walk into the punishment when we come out of his protection. Yes. So amen. And we just you know you know, because this whole scripture talked about, mm -hmm. you know, uh, what happens when you uh, when you hold the truth in unrighteousness, because that which 
which may be, this is the uh, 19th verse, said, by, because that which may be known of God is manifest in them, mm -hmm. but God has showed it unto them. That's what you got to be careful what God showed you. Yes. Amen. Mm -hmm. Amen. So God has showed it unto them, for the invisible things of him from the creation of the world are clearly seen, being understood by the things that are made, even his eternal power and Godhead. So that they with they are without excuse. Mm -hmm. Because that when they knew God, they glorified him not as God, neither were thankful, but became vain in their imagination, and their foolish heart was darkened. Yes. Professing themselves to be wise. They became fools That's mm. right. and changed the glory of the unco uncorruptible God into an image made like corruptible man mm -hmm. to birds and four-footed beasts and creeping things. <coughs> where God also gave them up to uncleanness mm. through the lust of their own hearts, who dishonor their own bodies between themselves. Mm -hmm. So, you know, so when we we that's why it's good to acknowledge God and keep God holy. Mm -hmm. yes. Amen. Yeah. Amen. And you know, just and realize he just you know, the word is trying to protect us. <coughs> yes. So we just doing the word, yes. we doing ourselves a favor. Mm -hmm. Amen. Amen. That's all it was. Thank Amen. you. Amen. Thank you, Lord. Oh, Brother told to me uh, the word of God is just like a fence that keeps animals inside. It keeps you keep you real. If we stay in the Word, it keeps us real and obedient to the Word. It keeps the enemy away from us. It's a fence around us. Mm. It protects yeah. us. And it shields us from the enemy that comes upon us if we obey the Word. Yes. And don't do like some animals break out of the fence. And when you get break out, sometimes we break out of the Word and then we get in trouble. Yeah. Go out and the enemy takes over. Uh, sometimes you might see an animal hit on the highway somewhere. Somebody ran over it. And no doubt the animal might have been a corral animal, might have just broke out, and now they don't got ran over. But uh, 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 accident, something, something come along. Just before we call Helen Rodney out and draw your attention to it. One page one seventy six here. I'm gonna read a few verses seven. One seventy six on the right side says we may not know just what the Babylonians was thinking, but the Jew made it clear that they found it too difficult to sing the Lord's song in a strange land. Their grief overpower their desire to enjoy pleasures of sin. And they were, I'm in trouble now. I, ain't, I don't feel like saying no. Mm, mm, mm. <laughs> I don't feel like uh, sometimes we be looking for, at our situation. What I don't broke out of what I, I, ain't, I don't feel like saying no, man. I, I don't know. I don't think about what I used to have or what I used to be, where I used to be going to. Now you want me to act like you. So mm, when the mm, child of God get in trouble, they, they think they can remember. Oh, I remember going to church. The songs that they drove me to church, but they kept me out of trouble. When they drove you to church, they kept you from the places you're in to now. And they can remember those things when they end up in the trouble. And down Father said, this is a did raise the two questions. It might consider first what should we do if we ever honor the domination of the enemy who demand that we do something we do not want to do? Should we try to accommodate them and gain their favor and the good treatment if good treatment it may provide? Perhaps, but if anything required us to go against God and His word, we must refuse and be ready to accept the consequences. Mm -hmm. Be ready to accept. I don't care what the devil brings to offer you. Be ready to refuse. <coughs> I'm not going against God. I'm not going to act. I'm going to do this because 
I rave better. I know better. So I see the enemy brings things that's void up and push and make it look good that there ain't no harm in it and all this. But I'm a firm believer if God does deliver me from that, don't entice me. Don't try to entice me to go back to do something I long years quit doing. Mm -hmm. Some people just draw, let that draw them right on back and all that. There ain't no harm in it. They do this, they do this, and they like the church down the street doing it, and there ain't nothing wrong with it. But if you ain't, if you've been delivered from that, stay away from it. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Del the pastor of this house, Regina yes. Tucker, and our Bishop Roy Tucker. Yes, sir. This part of Sunday school is where we go through the go through and review the scriptures of the lesson. Amen. We will need your Bibles. Amen. So this is <clears throat> final lesson of our quarter. We have our new books. Uh, you get a book. Please just get one and try to read it. Try to read it. Don't just take it home and let it. You know, just just go through it and. Yes. It's a lot to read through. Just, just, just make an effort. It's, it's good. It's really good stuff. Yes. Good stuff. Uh, but this lesson is judgment and exile. <clears throat> a lesson text of Second Chronicles, thirty-six, verses fifteen through twenty-one. Then we skip to the book of Psalms, division one thirty-seven, verses one through six. And as is our custom here at Mother Tucker Ministries, let's go back and recap last week's lesson yeah. in the spirit of diligence, right? Amen. Yeah. Nobody has the capacity to get and understand everything in one sitting, so it's always good to just go back Amen. and recap. What was our lesson title last week? Rebuke from the Lord. Uh -huh. That was uh, Amos chapter 5 verses 14 through 15 then it skips to verses 18 through 27 yes. so from our lesson last week uh, open your Bibles up <coughs> to the book of Amos right quick, Amos is a real small book, I think it's right after Hosea I think. Mm -hmm. yeah, yeah it's a real small it might be right before us, right I might be right before was there. Am I right? No. What's happening? These small books get you. No, it's not. It's after after Joel. Okay. Two books after was there. <coughs> after Joel. So uh cut off, I want to do just a little background right quick. Mm -hmm. uh, let's go to verse chapter 5 uh, verse 6 and uh, just read a few verses in there. Chapter 5 verse 6. <clears throat> and in this, in this book uh, in verse 6 Jehovah God told the house of Israel to do what? Seek the Lord. Seek the Lord. Seek mm -hmm. Jehovah right? Yes. Lest the Lord Jehovah break out like what? Fire. 
like fire. Where? In the house of Joseph. In the house of Joseph. And I, and I talked last week, I think it was last week, explaining that the house of Joseph referenced the northern kingdom of Israel. Mm -hmm. uh, Joseph had two sons, Ephraim and Manasseh. And for those who read, study, but you, you'll see that Ephraim is always, ref a lot of times Ephraim is referencing the northern kingdom. Mm -hmm. So the house of Joseph is referencing the northern kingdom, <coughs> or representing the northern kingdom of Israel. Okay, so what will that fire do to the house of Joseph? Uh, in verse Devour. 6. Devour it, right? Yes. Or consume it. Mm -hmm. Burn it up. Yes. Who will quench that fire in Bethel? No one. None, no. right? <clears throat> Jehovah, Jehovah says through Amos, Jehovah's talking through Amos the prophet to the northern kingdom of Israel in verse 7. Ye who turn, ye who turns what? Judgment. Judgment to wormwood, right? Mm -hmm. To poison of bitterness. Yes. He says, talking to Israel, that ye leave off, you leave, you leave what off the earth? Right. Righteousness. Righteousness. Mm -hmm. NIV reads Amos 5 and 7 as uh, the word justice as judgment, right? Mm -hmm. uh, but this was mainly to leadership. <coughs> it says, Amos, uh, the NIV says, there are those who turn justice into bitterness and cast righteousness to the ground. That's the NIV version. Skip to verse 10. Verse 10, Amos 5 and 10 says, <coughs> They love him that rebuketh in the gate. They hate him. They hate him. Now the gate represented the courts, right? Or, you know, court in, in the gate. It says, They abhor or detest him that does what? Speaketh uprightly. This word uprightly uh, is from a Hebrew word, tatamiyam, which means completely or entire, whole. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, so, so which is called the truth. So they, they abhor him that tells the whole story. Yes, sir. <clears throat> As it said, half of the truth is a whole lie. Mm -hmm. right? yes. Truth is complete. Truth is complete. But Israel detested hearing the entire matter. Okay, now we're going to get on to our lesson. I touched on this last week, but we didn't read this beginning. Mm -hmm. kind of, uh, yeah. <laughs> so now to verse 14, our lesson. God told them to seek what? Good. Good. Seek good, not what? Evil. Not evil. That what may happen? That you may live. Seek good, right? God's word is good. His law is good. Everything about him. Right? That you may live. Mm -hmm. So who will be with you? The Lord. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. The Lord Jehovah. The mm -hmm. Lord, I, I always say the Lord in all caps is translated from, it's his name, Jehovah. Yes. Jehovah, the God of oh. hosts or armies, as, as they have spoken. Yes. Verse 15. Hate what? Evil. Mm -hmm. Hate evil. Love. Good. good. Jehovah God said to establish what? Judgment. judgment. Mm -hmm. He said to establish judgment. My God. Mm -hmm. Where? In the gate. In the gate or in the courts, right? Mm -hmm. Establish verse to establish means to set in order. The IV version reads, bring justice back into the courts, right? Yes. I have written down this takes courage. This takes courage. I can really elaborate on that. We don't have time. But this takes courage. Mm -hmm. <coughs> God said that it may be what? Excuse me. God said that it may be that they who that they who may be gracious to the Lord God of hosts. Uh, I just read right through the answer. They may be gracious to who? To the Lord God of hosts. <laughs> Uh, so that was 15 then, and then we skip to verse 18 verse 18 says woe unto you that desires what? 
day of the Lord. Mm. Now he's talking to Israel who had despised, mm. that's why I went back and read, they despised them that, that speak it up rightly. Yes. Right? Mm -hmm. they, they are just, <laughs> I was talking one, one time uh, a few weeks ago about uh, uh, <clears throat> consonant uh, dissonance, right? Consonant dissonance. Mm -hmm. And, and they, that's where they were at. They, they, they knew who their God was, but they enjoyed doing this here. And they didn't want to hear nothing going against what they was doing. Amen. They still don't. <laughs> they still don't. That's right. Mm. So, so as he says, woe unto you that desire the day of the Lord. Right? Mm -hmm. He said, and he said, to what end is it for who? You. For you. Mm -hmm. He says the day of the Lord is what? Darkness. Darkness and not light. He's talking to a rebellious people. Mm -hmm. Woe unto you that desire the day of the Lord. You, you shouldn't be asking for the day of the Lord. You don't want, you're not ready. You don't, you're not in the city. You're not in the condition. Mm -hmm. Help us, God. Verse 19. So he said, it be, it, if the day of the Lord will be darkness and not light, he said, as if a man did flee from a what? Lion. From a lion. Mm -hmm. And what matter? Or he went into his house and leaned his hand on a wall. But what happened? Bit by a serpent while he was resting, right? Trying to rest in his own house. He got bit by a sneaky serpent. Amen. Verse twenty: Shall not the day of the Lord, the Lord be what? Darkness and not even even what? Very dark and no what in it. Verse twenty-one. So God says, oh my God, he says, I hate and despise your what? Mm -hmm. Now these were things that God told them to do. Yes. The actions were right, mm -hmm. but their attitude, he said, I, I, don't, I, don't, I don't like it. Amen. He says, I will not what? Amen. Man, you're a solemn assembly. Their assemblies were solemn. But they still stink. Amen. He says, Though ye offer me what? Burnt no. offerings and no. meat no. offerings. These are things that they were supposed to do back then. Yeah. He says, I will not accept them. Neither will I regard what? Peace offerings of your fat beasts. Right? Verse 23. He said, take away from me the what? Noise. Ooh. He called it noise. For I will not hear the melody of thy vows. Verse 24 is now he's saying what he won't, right? Let what run down? Judgment or justice. And I keep saying justice is a need, right? This, God is a God of justice. He's a God of mercy. He's a God of love. But justice has to be implemented amongst people. Especially the people of God, right? Amen. He said, let justice run down as waters. I mean, that judgment, but that's the word that also translates justice. And what is a mighty stream? Righteousness. Righteousness, living right, being in right standard with God, doing what He said to do. Amen. Representing Him properly. Right. Showing love. Right. That's really all about love. But God had to give us laws. Yeah. Like I said, if you have a group of people, you got to write it down in a book so everybody is on the same page. Yeah. Or else everybody was doing their own version of what they think, yeah. what we think love is. God says, no, this is love, right? Amen. So everybody's going to be doing this, and when people see you doing this, yes. they will know that you are my people because you are doing what I said. Yes. They will know you're not Egyptians, you're not Canaanites, yes. you are God's people because you're doing what he said. Amen. That's called the law. Amen. It's called the law, right? These are things, thou shalt, thou shalt not always say everything, anything without rules is chaos. The law is not dead. I don't know, but I've, I've talked about this many times. Mm -hmm. 
But it, it's, it's structure. Yes. It was structure. Right? The only thing I was talking about before the other day, the, the, what, what is gone really, really want to get down to really what's gone is the sacrifices. We have one permanent sacrifice. Yes. Mm-hmm. Sure, how much shit. We ain't got to do it over again. Mm-hmm. One time, get under the blood. Amen. Mm-hmm. Okay, anyway. My God. So so he said, you're doing all these things, uh-huh. but they stink. Yes. Uh, <clears throat> verse 25. Have you offered unto me sacrifice, sacrifices and offerings where? In the wilderness for 40 years. He said, have you offered unto me? Now, these people, like I said, they weren't in the wilderness. They wasn't. Their ancestors were. And I keep talking about this. God don't separate us from my ancestors. I, I pulled everything out of here. Everything. Yes. Every little bone. Everything I can get out of the scriptures. Right? Because yes. it's all good. Yes. He says, have ye. But they weren't there. Their ancestors were there. Amen. Okay. Amen. And it's all from scripture. Have ye offered unto Unto me sacrifices and offerings in the wilderness forty years, O house of who? Israel. Israel. Verse, I mean, verse twenty-six. But ye have born in the tab- tabernacle of your Moloch and Shu, and your what? Image. Image. The star of what? Right. Your God. Your God, which who made? Ye yes. made to yourselves. Hmm. Therefore will I cause you to go where? Yeah. Yeah. Captivity beyond Damascus, said the Lord, who the name of the God of hosts. Yes. Good stuff. Good stuff. Good stuff. Amen. All right, now we get into our today's lesson, Judgment and Exile. Mm-hmm. Uh, this is Second Chronicles 36, chapter, excuse me, chapter 36, verses 15 through 21. Then we skip to the book of Psalm, division 137. Verses one through six. Mm-hmm. <clears throat> All right, so okay. Now I have, I have written down. Uh, this is a lot of history in this lesson. Mm-hmm. We'll get to more spiritual stuff next week. <laughs> <laughs> but it's all good. It's all good, right? You see, I, I believe it's, if it's in the Bible, it is good. It's yeah. fruitful if it's in the word. Long, don't tell me nothing that's not in the word. But if it's in the word, I need it, right? Amen. This is a this lesson that we're talking about is a judgment on the southern kingdom of Judah, called Judah, right? The southern kingdom of Israel, called Judah. <coughs> uh, this was a judgment that went on. Uh, this was about two hundred years after the northern kingdom, called Israel. <coughs> they kept named Israel was taken. Many of them was taken into captivity mm-hmm. by the Assyrians, 722 B.C., as Amos warned us last week, right? And I have written on here, uh, Second Chronicles 7, of so all, and I'm just going to say this as a footnote, all of the northern kingdom was not taken into captivity. And Second Chronicles 7, uh, 15, and we had time to read it, Second Chronicles 15, 8 and 9, and Second Chronicles chapter 30, the whole chapter explains all of that. Verse 6 actually talks about the Israelites who had escaped the Assyrians' mm-hmm. captivity, right? Uh, so I can get into that whole conversation. But all, I'm just saying, all northern kingdom were not taken. There were many in the southern kingdom uh, living. So Jews or Judahites, which is where Jews translated from, means any Israelite living in the southern kingdom called Judah. Yes. That's what the word Jew really means. It ain't no race. I, I keep it ain't got nothing to do with religion. In the Bible, it was about where you. It was about your lineage and where you lived at, right? A lot of people were, you know, named after what they did. Okay, so, uh, so second <clears throat> in our lesson, Second Chronicles thirty six fifteen says, and the Lord Jehovah, mm-hmm. God of their fathers' ancestors. Now, whose ancestors? Who did, who's are there? Israel, right? Israel. Uh, Israel or Judah, to, to be more specific, Judah, because this they're talking about Judah. This is a this is a uh, judgment of Judah, right? 
keep them living in Judea. Mm -hmm. So, so this is really specifically talking about the Israelites living in Judah, uh, who were called Judahites. I already talked about that. So the Lord Jehovah, God of their ancestors, sent to them Israel and Judah by who? Messengers. His messengers, rising up when? B times, but it really meant like over and over, mm -hmm. right? Messengers sent them, told them over and over, again and again. Some versions say again and again. Verse 15 continues saying, He sent these messengers over and over because Jehovah had what? Compassion. Compassion on who? His people, His people Israel, and on Israel's dwelling place, the temple. That's right, the temple. Mm -hmm. Verse 16. But what did Jehovah's people do to the messengers of God? Wow. Wow. The same thing from last week, right? Same attitude. Yeah. <clears throat> mocked them. People just relaying a message from God mm -hmm. got mocked. Mm -hmm. Jehovah's people also despise what? His word. Whose word? Uh, God's word. Yeah. These are God's people despising his word. Yeah. What did Jehovah's people do to his prophets? They used. They used them. Now this was the majority of Israel, mm -hmm. right? This was the majority. Yes. So, so if you were in right standing with God, you were a minority, and you were overran by the majority, yes. right? So you may seem to look like you was wrong. <laughs> because you weren't with the crowd. Who was, you understand what I'm saying? Amen. So it's so uh, they misused the prophets, right? Uh, Jehovah, God's people, Israel did these things until what happened? The wrath. The wrath of Jehovah, the Lord, arose against who? For how long? So there was no remedy. The ERB version of this scripture reads. But they made fun of God's prophets and refused to listen to them. Mm -hmm. They hated God's messages. Mm -hmm. Finally, the Lord Jehovah could not hold his anger any longer. He became angry with his people. Mm -hmm. And there was nothing that could be done to stop it. Amen. Verse 17. Therefore, he brought, up, he brought who upon them? The king of the Chaldees. Who is who? Anybody know who that is? Nebuchadnezzar. So the Chaldees were inhabitants of Babylon. The, 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 the inhabitants, the city was Babylon, the people were Chaldees or Chaldean. Mm -hmm. And you see, when, when you read, when you read the, they, they, they mention the name and you read the whole, that's why I encourage you to read the background. The, and you see, he's talking about Nebuchadnezzar's name is mentioned all through there. <clears throat> so the king of the Chaldees was Nebuchadnezzar. Right. Uh, the Chaldees, the Chaldeans were descendants of a man named Kesed, who was, uh, they, like I said, they, they always spoke in families. So they were descendants of a man named Kesed. These were the people who inhabited Babylon. Right? Mm -hmm. They were Chaldeans. Gen Genesis 22, 20 through 22. All right, so what did the king of the Chaldeans do to the young men of Israel? Ooh. Ooh. Slew them with the sword, right? Mm -hmm. The king of the Chaldees, King Nebuchadnezzar, killed those young men where? In the house of their sanctuary. In the temple. They killed them, right? Mm -hmm. This Chaldean king was a compassionate king. No compassion. No. He had no compassion on who? Young, young men or? Old young maidens, women, like they had said, or? Old, old men. Or him that did what? Stoop for age. Jehovah God gave them all into the king's hand. Verse 18. Mm -hmm. So this king of the Chaldees brought all the vessels of the house of who to Babylon? God. He brought them to Babylon, right? These vessels of the house of God to Babylon. The house uh, <coughs> the house of God. He brought all he brought all the vessels of the house of God to Babylon. Mm -hmm. Great in what? Small. He also brought the treasures of who? The king. The king and his 
princes, right? Verse 18. And verse 19, what did they do to the house of God? Burnt it. Burnt it. <clears throat> what did they do to the wall of Jerusalem? Yeah. Break it down. They destroyed it all, right? Yeah. Let's go on to verse 20. So what happened to them that escaped from the sword? They were carried where? Carried, carried to Babylon. And they were what? Servants, Servants or slaves. Yeah. And I also make a point right here, as, as always, that that was not like what happened here in America. Mm -hmm. uh, what happened here in America has been seen nowhere in history. Mm -hmm. In that the people who went into slavery mm -hmm. didn't know who they were after slavery. Mm -hmm. That is recorded nowhere in history. So I'll make that clear because I don't want anybody <laughs> to think that when they talk about servants or slaves, or think about what happened here, well, you know, slavery happened. Uh, cut. No, that's that's those were different, right? No, nothing happened <clears throat> like what happened here. Amen. So, so, but but they they were they um so the Israelites who escaped death were carried away to Babylon, where they were servants of the king of Babylon mm -hmm. and his sons until when? To the reign of the kingdom of who? Persia. Verse 21. This, now this was a judgment, right? This was to fulfill the word of Jehovah by whose mouth? Jeremiah. Jeremiah. Jeremiah prophesied this, right? Mm -hmm. This captivity was to go on until the land did what? <laughs> Had enjoyed her <laughs> Sabbath. Now, now this is judgment, right? And like mom and dad and mother were saying, this really happens to us if we don't, we have to examine ourselves. We have to constantly examine ourselves. Amen. We really do. We, we have to constantly examine ourselves by the word. Because right? yeah. the Bible says that every man is right in his own eyes. Right. Yeah. Every man is right. Just because we are passionate and we got to go by, okay, I got to make sure that I'm right. This is the lamp unto my feet and the light unto my path, right? Not how I feel. Not how confident I am. Not how many schools I went to. This right here. That's the mirror. This is our mirror, man. Yes. yes. It checks me. It's a discerner of the hearts. Woo! My God. So, but this was a judgment, right? It says, so this captivity, verse 21, was to go on until the land had enjoyed her Sabbath. How long did the land of Israel lay, lay desolate? Verse 21 at the end. 70, 70 years. To fulfill three score and ten years or 70 years, right? And this is in Jeremiah 29, 4 through 13. Now the lesson shifts to Psalm 137, mm -hmm. verse 1. Verse 1 says, they sat down by what? The rivers, the rivers. The rivers of Babylon. Yeah. And Israel wept. Right? Yes. What made Israel weep? When they remembered? Zion. Zion, mm -hmm. oh, wow. Zion was Jerusalem. Yes. The city of David. Yes. Right? It was home. That's right. mm -hmm. It was sacred. Mm -hmm. They wept when they thought, when they remembered Zion. Yes. My God. <clears throat> Verse 2 says. We hung our harps or lyres where? <laughs> On the willows or the trees, right? They put their harps up. They weren't making no more music. <laughs> Verse 3 says, <clears throat> There they that carried us away, captives, captive required what of us? Um, <laughs> now I'm like that. I saw that. I saw this as that mocking. <laughs> that's just you know they I don't know but that's the way I saw it I saw it as them mocking mm -hmm. sing us one of them songs yeah. Yeah. song of Zion right <laughs> sing us one of them songs mm -hmm. and you know that they know that you're just miserable yeah. sing us a song mm -hmm. <laughs> I saw that as mocking right so they, were, they were like mother they so they were mocking God's people right. so they said sing us a song one of those songs of Zion, right? Yeah. But Israel said, how shall we do what? Sing. 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 Sing.
And I can't help, every time I read this, I can't help but think about our ancestors when they were brought here. <coughs> right, this, this ain't to make nobody sad. This, this ain't to make nobody sad. It's, to, it's for wholeness. It's for wholeness, right? God don't, God don't disconnect nobody from their ancestors, and we shouldn't either. So I, I think about that, right? I, I could just, you know, they were in a strange land as, as we are still kind of in a strange land. We are their descendants. Mm -hmm. They were. They, how can we sing a song? Mm -hmm. in a strange strength. How can we sing the whole, the Lord's song? Mm -hmm. A song of Zion mm -hmm. in a strange. What are you talking about mocking? That's 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 hitting low. That's hitting low. Yeah, yeah. That was that was a tough. One. Sing us one of the songs. Mm -hmm. How can we sing? song. So I have I have written down here remembering this is about our wholeness, right? Because I, I, I always talk about black history not as nothing else but as wholeness because we feel some kind of way when we talk about that and we shouldn't feel like that. It's just wholeness, right? Even in church, even in Sunday school you know it's, 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 a, it's a beautiful thing. So they said, how can we sing Jehovah's song? And, and I'm say, if we can't do that, if we can't do that, then we have to consider that there might be some bondage. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yes. Selah. All right, I'm working on it too. Right? It's, it's, just, it's, it's, just, it's just part of what, it's something we're all working through. We've been working through. We're getting a lot better. This is a reality of what we did. And God is doing the work. Oh, yes. I'm telling you, that's why I'm so attached to this book. This is amazing. Oh, all right, we got, we got to keep going. Verse 5. But they said, how can we, how shall we sing the Lord's song in a strange land? And, and many of our ancestors who brought here, who were brought here were Hebrews also. Mm -hmm. uh, that's another conversation. But that's, I can't talk, talk. Okay, so verse 5 says, If I forget thee, O who? Jerusalem. Mm -hmm. If I forget where I came from, if I forget home, uh -huh. let, let my right hand what? In other words, let me not play no beautiful music no more. Her skills, right? Amen. Mm -hmm. If verse 6, if I do not remember who? Thee. Thee. Talking to who? God, the Lord Jehovah, right? Mm -hmm. Let my tongue cling to where? The of my mouth. Mm -hmm. Let me not say nothing. Mm -hmm. He said, if I prefer not who? Jerusalem, Jerusalem over Amen. my chief joy. Yeah. Judgment and exile. Amen. Woo, my God. This is just a bad mom. You guys have your closing thoughts. Yeah, let's close in the name of the No matter how far or how you get way out there, don't forget mm. home. Don't forget home. Never forget home. Mm. Even when you're traveling, it seems like when you're going home, you feel so good all the way. <laughs> no place like home. <laughs> no place like home. <laughs> that is real. Yeah, that's. What are you going to say, Father? I said yes, on your way back. Even seem like your arm won't feel no more. <laughs> 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 yes, turn it loose and let it go. Yes, yes. Yeah, yes. I say no, but I was growing up, you know, uh, my dad would always, father would always take me with him when we go to. The gin, you know, the mm -hmm. music song. And on your way down there, the music just be, you know, moving slow. But on the way back, seem like they know every curve is slow. They be going slow. You see, on the note. Yes. I roll back, ride back a lot quicker. Yes. <laughs> And, and uh, on a uh, trip, traveling, everything, 
but there's no place like home. Oh, yeah. Yeah. You have to get back. Nobody bed, feel like your bed. Woo! Boy, that's a fact right there. Mm -hmm. It could be a nice bed or whatever, yeah. but it's all about when you lie in your own bed, boy. Amen. Yeah. 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 No place like home. Thank you. Father God, we thank you for what you're doing by your spirit in our lives, Father. We thank you for giving us the grace to examine ourselves, Father, through your word. Thank you, Father, for helping us to represent you in a greater way. Help us not to be a stumbling block. Help us not to bring judgment on us or our family or our people. God, we thank you for what you're doing by your spirit in our lives, Father, for your glory. We're constantly praying for the sick and the shut-in. We thank you for what you're doing in the bodies of your people. By Jesus, Yeshua, stripes we are healed. God, I thank you for your word. Thank you. Thank you for your healing power going through the bodies of your people right now. By your spirit for your glory. We thank you for the word that's coming forth. We thank you for what you're doing in our lives for your glory, God. We'll thank you forever. In Yeshua's name, amen. Amen.